So good afternoon, everyone. So shall we proceed? Yes, please. So welcome again uh, for the monthly safety meeting, our project monthly safety meeting. And we all are here to see what are the unsafe facts we have identified and what are the lapses or gaps. Okay. Because then we can know that uh, what is wrong going behind us if we are not at the site or even if we are at the site. So safety is a teamwork and we need to un uh, identify the unsafe practices, unsafe acts to control or to minimize the major accident or major mishaps which could harm our productivity or which could harm the uh, life also or skill also. So first of all, the agenda will be monthly safety statistics, review of previous meeting, unsafe act and unsafe condition, environmental issues, information and implementation, accident case studies. So the statistics for the month of September was we had achieved 23,280 safe man hours and total safe man hours is 11,000. Uh, 11,000,000, 88,408. It is since the start of the project. A near miss case for the month of September was 1. Dangerous occurrence for the month of September 0, first aid 0, medical treatment case 0. Safety induction in September 2 sessions and participant were 6. Safety awareness training. Total number of the session 6 and participant were sorry, not 5. I think I forgot you to 82. Total for participants were 82. Okay. So for the safety induction, for induction, the problem is from EcoCogium. Whenever he is deploying the new person, he is not informed. And it is necessary each and every employee must go through the safety induction before deploying at the workplace. Tell me why it is not happening. You see, what is safety induction? Say, he is here or he is there for three years. They know about the pega, where is the danger, where there is up, where there is down, which area there is electricity, which area there is no electricity. But new person coming for the first time to the site, he does not know. Okay, he may think this is very risky, so he will not go near it. And somewhere else where it is risky, he will go and touch and he may get an accident. So safety induction is very simple. He is told that this is the site, this is the problem, these are the risks. Here. So anybody new, whoever is coming to the site must be inducted. I will give you one example which I know about many years back, 30 years back. It was a factory where they were, it was an earthquake. In that factory, they were making the galvanization factory. So what happened was they bought an earthquake. Like in a galvanization, there is a big, uh, what should I call it, stick where the galvanized zinc is put and it is heated up, like the bitumen is heated up. That is the so, yes. Yeah. So. yeah. So what has happened is, and then when it is sufficiently heated, there is clay, the black members are dipped, taken out. Then it goes to the next and next step is good. Now this zinc, when it is hot, it looks like milk. Just like milk. There is no boiling, there is no uh, what should I say? Bubble cross, no bubble, 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 nothing. Just milk. But the temperature is somewhere around uh, 460 or something like that. If the temperature is more than that, then the zinc will become very light. So the thickness of the galvanization will not be thick. If the temperature is less, then it will be thick and later on it will come out from the surface. So it has to be a perfect temperature given. It is checked by there is a heater on the side where like we see the temperature in bitumen, there is also a temperature gauge where it is like dished up. So it, when it starts it is 0, then 10, 15, 20, 100, 150. When it is 450, 460 at that time, they should start the galvanization. Not at a lower temperature, not at a higher temperature. Now, it's a backdrop. On that day, they started the machine in the morning. It was getting heated up. And it was winter, so they were sat outside. And they were having tea. One guy who has joined was only 19 years old. That was his first day. And the government told, ah, go and see whether it is hot. He assumed that is a guy. Who knows? All he has to do is go and see the the, point of the, the, the digital thermometer and come back and tell, yes it is or it is not. This guy, young guy, he went there, he did not know about the digital meter, he looked at it, then he went and that. Up to this, immediately, first, up to here, first he went inside. It is what, 460 degrees putting his finger. Without my, he thought it is just like me, touch and we will see whether it is what. And went off and after that, 
the zinc went into his blood and he was senseless. He was thrown away by that impact. He was taken to the hospital. He was there in the hospital for three days. After that, he died. And it is all because he was not inducted. That is a new, new reason. Yeah, yes. First day. That is the reason. If you are there, first, no, he was very, he was very, he, he wanted to keep the foreman happy. He was thinking he should not ask the foreman how to check the temperature because the foreman will say, what is there? You don't know how to see. So instead he went and just like that in our house we checked me, our mothers we checked by me, by putting fingers on that, just taking a spoon and see. He tried something like that and he died. It is not his fault. It is the fault because he was not inducted. So this is the reason induction is very, very important. When the foreman told him, if the foreman told somebody else who is experienced, he will not do this. He will go and see the reading and come back. This day was me. Nobody told him that to see whether it is hot or not, you should see the thermometer. He did not know. Nobody told him because he was not inducted. What has happened? Because of that, one young man, 19 year old, today he would have been 50 years old, and yet, so that is the reason what he was told. It is very important. Anybody new comes, here in this system is not there, but in Dubai and all the system is very clear. Somebody comes to the site. He is inducted, he is given a small card, card yeah. that he is inducted. He must card, keep the card. And the safety officer of the client will take anybody, any worker, show me your card. Yes. If you cannot show the card, out. Okay. Get out of it. Even if he is having a card and he has forgotten in the morning, no. He has to keep the card in the pocket. That he is safety inducted. Because of his own safety, so that he does not die. His wife will not kill the husband, son will not kill the father, his parent will not kill the son. That way. So he makes sure. Anybody who comes, nothing. Bring to him, he will take 10 minutes to explain. That's all. Now, so we are going to have a look here over the unsafe act and unsafe conditions. So, the first unsafe uh, act was Voltec technician Mr. Lakshman found without full body harness and height during fixing of the cable clamps. The problem is, the problem, the problem is, is, people think, I will tell you something. In my 35 years, I have seen six accidents. I don't know why God has shown me six people died. And most of the cases, you know, what was the last word? It's Leo. Don't worry. Nothing will happen. I hate the words, nothing will happen. I hate the words, nothing will happen. You know, there was one accident. This guy, he is a technician. He had the knowledge of 400 kV, 220 kV, all KVs. And you know, he died because of which KV? 220 volt. This. You know how? They were doing some, this, uh, what should I say, the panel inside. They were doing some KV. It was dark, so they put a small bulb. That bulb, they just took a flexible, and the flexible was short, so they put some joint without any back tape, without any plug, nothing. And it was inside the panel, and somehow it touched the body, that naked part. During the lunch hour, everybody went for lunch. This guy, he had to tie some paper like this, so he kept it on the panel, put a hand, and he was going to sign, and he stood like this, right, and he was standing like this. After lunch, his colleagues came back and saw this guy, just like that. They just pushed him and he fell down and they found that he was dead. All of that was happened. And he was very experienced. He was 40, 45 years old. Technician. He was even pushing him out. This is child's play and doing. And for a simple thing, he died. So, very important. So, we have to control. This is just only due to the overconfidence. I can do. It is always overconfidence. Nothing will push me out. Nothing will happen. Because he knows. At the height, we need safety belt. But just he was thinking it is five minutes over or just two minutes. But even the two minutes can kill, can uh, take the life of any person. So it's better if we know the risk for the height of, we could have taken the safety measures. The point is for that. The second one also the bolt te technician found without full body harness at height during or transformer while field racing. Your work is almost over. Over. Within next one month, 30 days, two weeks, people will go back to their families. We want that everybody should go back to their family. Let's see. There are two times when accidents happen. One is when the work is starting. That is because of lack of induction. Another is when it is almost going to be over. That time people are not anymore thinking about the work. They are thinking about going back to the family, what gift they should take to their children, what their wife is going to tell you and tell him, things like that. So it is easily becomes scarce. And these are the two times when maximum accidents happen. In between, very rarely it happens, unless there is overconfidence. So please, it's only one month, we are lucky, we have come to this stage, let us not have something at the last. As a side in charge, we have to take a conversation or some meetings 
because they are far from the home if they will do the these practices and even someone fall from the height that could be the uh, fracture of the bone loss of life so it's better to take the precaution that is true. irrespective of the age of the workers who are working with you they are also like your children he may be 50 year old but he is like your children sometimes you may be when or whoever is in charge in which your company remember that every worker is like your own son so you have to protect him like your own next in the improper housekeeping was done around the work site it is from the eco cuisine always we found wherever they work they leave the plywood they leave the footwood nails and several times i have informed you wherever you are working maintain the good house cleanliness last report you close the site for 15 minutes before the closing time in this 15 minutes you see i will show you here so you both are here please tell me what is the solution so make it practice okay after work you have to remove all the things whatever is there Okay, this oil-soaked cotton was found at the site. At site means uh, rectifier. And this important thing for us managers to say that yes, if it has happened, it should not happen. Instead of trying to justify small things, large things, no, <laughs> please, this is not expected from us. That's why I am saying we should make entire side. We need to implement the system. Okay, and it is not like that. I can take the photo and blame anyone. i try to make it a system okay the next point is that damaged helmet and gum boot have been observed at the site it is from ecopodia always you say we have changed but even today i will check i'll find two three damaged helmet and put the more than 5 10 the gum boots no i don't understand one thing there was a time when ecopodia had 100 people all had helmet of money now they are gone The helmet gum boot should be there. Now you are having twenty. Once is broken, take it. Give him another. Or those people they have taken the helmets with them. I don't know. Yesterday, Mr. Matai took the photo. Two person was working from Voltec without helmet. There. He took the photo and he sent to the Leonita. Sir, again the next meeting will come. I think tomorrow is the meeting. He will ask the question. So instead of making excuses, we should think and we should act. It should not. I like it again and again. It should not be repeated. Tell me the answer when you are going to close the issue. We found three or four guys without safety shoes. See, I am telling you, you have 100 guys, 90 guys have gone. If 10 helmets and 10 PPE and this inside your store, new guy comes, it is not having given. When he goes back, take it back. Don't allow him to go home with that. I think that is the problem with the cocodrium. All the helmets. You had more than 100 helmets, and these people went with the helmets, and now you are having problems. So ensure tomorrow every person has the proper PPE. Okay. The next point is the electrical power cable found at the site in a scattered way. So always I think both are working with this cable, and it has improper joint also. No, no. no last time cocodrium told it's a voltage. And voltage is saying it's a cocoa. Yeah, but both are working. Okay, let's check and confirm the two. So, please do not think if there is any unsafe there that this is not voltage. This is cocoa. This is unsafe. Is unsafe. Even one voltage guy can die from a bad work of cocoa. Or other way around, cocoa guy can die. So please do not think if it is unsafe. Everybody, safety is for everybody. Check this cable is the life. They have isolated or not. So if they are working, they will work. After work, they should please remove. If even it is because they are working. And one more thing. Even if you see that there is some unsafe work by them, we can always tell our safety. Look, this work it looks like it is unsafe. So we will see. We will tell. Them. Same thing with you. If you see some because they are or if it is because they are no problem. You can tell him, or the people should tell me. <coughs> you will tell them to rectify. Right? Instead of just doing nothing because it is not our job. No? And uh, every life is important, whether it is from Ecopodium or from Volte or from KPK or from Rikidesu. Every life is important. You should not think that you are holding this one. Let it die. No, that is not right. For electricity, we should be very serious huh? because electrocution is very dangerous. Yeah, it is very serious. Now this is workmen were observed at the site without having PPEs. 
even mr rogue the supervisor is moving at side without the adjustment you see in the photo so if you are at the side you should ensure each and every person have the helmet reflector gun boot is it we are working in a culture where the safety must be there the work quality must be there the productivity must be there okay so the culture need to be implemented you see the most dangerous thing say what man was found hanging on machine just near to the wheel while the machine was running okay so the problem is the grader was working if he fall down the operator will apply the blade till the tire it will roll over the body the wheel of the machine to so make sure every activity must have their good supervision the spillage of the hydraulic oil found down the grader machine so what is the issue now i i am going to ask boss the penalty amount whatever is the answer practices we are informing you and within the time frame if you are not closing will raise a penalty amount you lost maybe 5 10 liters of fuel that is a direct loss now it is going to the soil which is bad for the environment third if the consultant takes a photo of again he makes a big issue and he puts penalty on us we will simply recover the penalty whatever money he, he charges us do you have any problem to close this issue like any changing of the helmet this oil and spillage housekeeping if you don't have the problem close the things at the right time okay any other points from your side like uh, during work we have observed from satish from uh, arjun sir from arun sir any point okay so that was the near miss while manual pulling of uh, conductor wire the rope pulley broken down due to the load during shifting of old existing 30 kilo kv line so i think it was due to the overload eh? it was due to overload over Uh-huh. And again, uh, they were used in the second app. Once it got broken, they used the double pull. Yeah, double pull. So first itself, they they must have been like that. They tried a single row and at uh, 15 or 20 plus pulley, definitely it will become very low. Mm-hmm. But pulley. But uh-huh. in next case, option two, they did the uh, double pull. Double pull. In that case, mm-hmm. the load was shared. Yeah, shared. Yeah. 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 But so. We can say overload, and also we can say that uh, shortcut. Shortcut work. Ah, uh-huh. uh-huh. that's why I put in the S. Why should it be a work? Why should it be another? No, no. The problem is even the S W. We can say working load was not there. That no, means that the not there. That is not there. That Us. means the quality of the pulley was not good. We can say first. Yeah, you can that's say that. The you see, if you see in English and other places, these are first of all, it should be marked. Mm-hmm. Second thing is you should be routinely check that the color coding is there. Those kind of things okay may not be possible over here, but at least you should not try for short. Mm-hmm. Second, there is a problem. It is the near miss. What is the near miss? Near miss is it is giving us the lesson. Something has happened in that accident. That has not happened, but it is a lesson to us. So the next time when I do it, we'll check, check, check and, and, and we'll use uh, double pulley. The last time this has happened, nobody was injured. That does not mean this is a learning lesson for us. That next time we will do something. Because one time we are lucky, second time we may not be lucky. So this is a lesson. This because near this reporting is less. Less. Not only from our side, every all the countries. Because people think that near this you should not report. Accident you cannot help. Somebody is died means you have to report. But near this people don't report, and they are telling this is incorrect. Nearness is good because nearness gives us a lesson without losing a life, and we take action based on that. One life is safe in future. So he was telling that I am very unhappy because from all the sides nearness is very less because people try to hide here. Nothing has happened. No, nobody has got injured. No, it's just okay. The positive visible changes like the toolbox talk. and the motivational program and project manager safety discussion with the workers so we need to do some activity which make familiar to the employee to supervisor to engineer regarding the safety okay so the next monthly meeting will conduct in the month of november next month second week anything from your side okay. so thanking you it was from the my side anything else
Anybody? Okay, thank you.